But if your user ever said, my session's slow, or I'm launching this application, it's taking a long time, this is horrible, I'm gonna stop using the solution. If so, we may have the right solution for you. Microsoft recently released a new capability to look at the performance insights on your virtual machine. That enables us to look at the processes and see which process is causing high usage or memory usage. In the video, we're going to explore that feature. It's called Performance Diagnostics. It's actually in public preview. It's not GA yet, so there's some stuff which don't quite work yet. But yeah, today's video, we're going to show you how to install it. Um, look at some data so i've generated some data and then we're going to go through in a bit more detail of what's actually happening in the background but the best practice is to use this inside your environment all right really looking forward to today's video this is a really cool feature so stick around towards the end and you'll be able to see the full feature set let's get to it historically on a, a virtual machine you don't have any logging enabled by default so you can't really see any historical data what we've had to do previously we've had to go into what we call insights under monitoring and what that does that installs a log analytics agent on the vm when that data goes into log analytics workspace so you have to click the enable button so if i click that enable button there it's going to show you what data collection rule it's going to use and then it'll show what lo what log analytics workspace is going to go into as well okay so i've already done this previously so i've gone into another vm configured all that stuff when we enable that we can actually see a performance tab that's going to give me historical information about what's happening in that VM. I can see what the C CPU utilization is. I can see what the available memory usage is. I can see what the, the disk IOPS is and uh, logical disk mix. Right. So we can see quite a lot of information in there as well. And if you wanted to get a lot more granular, you could also go and look at that data within the log analytics query, log analytics workspace, and then use KQL queries to create graphs and all that good stuff as well. But to be honest with you, I don't really ever see people do that because a lot of people don't even know about this, right? This is something which only people who have access to the Azure console can see. So it's definitely still worth enabling this, but even if you can see this data, it's pretty much useless because what do you want me to do with this data? I can see the CPU usage being utilized. It's going up to 60 to 80%. We don't know why that is. I'd have to log on to the session host and see what's happening. This new capabilities giving us the ability to identify what's actually causing that problem if we go to performance diagnostics this is a new feature right so i've already enabled this if you want to enable this on an existing vm you can see performance diagnostics is not available on the virtual machine it's not running so let's fire up that vm and then we'll be able to see so i'm just going to start this virtual machine the data that we now see is giving us recommendations right we've identified one of the processes so this is the more recent ones let me just refresh that so what i've done to to test this solution we've actually got a, a virtual machine running and i'm killing that virtual machine i've got 40 tabs of chrome running you can see here the cpu is kind of maxing out 100 memory 85 percent i'm pushing it to its limits just to see what the report um, is going to tell me about what's going on in this session host it's essentially just emulating a user um, and what a user is doing so Let's have a look. Let's see what the data is telling us uh, about what's happening. Um, I'm just going to refresh that and then look at more recent um, information. Okay, so let's look at this one. He's saying the disk IOPS is going up because we're hammering the disk with that. So I've got standard HDD running on this VM. So at the moment, it's saying an error occurred while fetching performance diagnostics. If you wanted to, we could pull back onto the insights and see what's. So let's just have a look here and give that a minute. So. Yeah, that gives us the disk IOPS there. It's basically the disk IOPS is using more than 30% of the available. Here I'm using 120 IOPS um, and the disk has got 500 IOPS available to it. So let's have a look and see what else we can do. Okay, so it's complaining about the CPU. As you mentioned, we just went onto that machine and we saw that the CPU was pegging at 100%. So it's basically saying, okay, uh, one of all Microsoft processes for high CPU usage. So we're saying here, we can see here, we've got some processes, TI worker, the XE, whatever that is, that's using it. But what becomes interesting is if we just have a look there. So I've got all those v those instances of Chrome running and it's basically saying, hey, you, you, your versions of Chrome that you're running, they're killing the CPU. So we can also have a look through some of there as well. You can see there, it's also saying about memory. It's complaining. One of the third party processes is identified that we're having high memory usage. So it's committed, you've got more than 90% of physical memory 
and you got less than 10 percent available memory again it's just really cool that it's alerting us to this information and is actually telling us which of these processes are using the most memory so again if we just log on to the session host we can see that google chrome is using most of the memory on that session host and we can see the individual processes what's really cool as well is let me just go back down to one of these other features it's telling us powershell iac which i use to launch the processes it's using 23 percent of the cpu uh, for um, kind of milliseconds a common issue with session host is like defender for endpoint so just trying to show you something here is so if we go down here a common thing that we see with customers is like defender for endpoint it uses a lot of cp usage and really slow system down so we can see here as well is actually identified one or more or defender processes as contributors to high cp usage it's identified that right and it's uh, recommended us to look at that in more detail to see these some retail retail scans causing their issues yeah i am so impressed with this feature i'm looking at this from an euc perspective this is for azure virtual machines in general but for me this information is golden right because if a user comes to you and say hey my session was slow at 8:32 in the morning i can go on here and i can see okay let's have a look at 8:32 in the morning then we can see here at eight o'clock i'm a sense that actually okay so that's defender for endpoint so we can see here defender endpoint has been using 10 percent of the cpu usage so that may have contributed to the slowdown now what is really nice also is the fact that it's also built into the insights okay so if i go into here i can have a look and see the performance of the virtual machine so you can see here um this is the new per performance insights and is integrated into the insights data as well and it means that you can go through and look at all this data at a certain time so i can click on there for example we can see cpu utilization uh, was 54 percent at 9 a.m so let's look here at 9 a.m and we can have a look and see okay we've got an alert for cpu usage let's click on that and we can see boom it was google chrome so google chrome was identified as having high cpu usage um, and it tells us all the historical um, information on there as well let's now go enable um, the performance diagnostics for storage account name we're just going to select new or default that's going to create its own storage account uh, if you wanted to you can also select a an existing storage account but for this test we're just going to select a new one so that's going to create a new storage account to collect those diagnostics okay all right so click apply so you can see here what that's doing that's going away and running it and what that's actually doing is installing a vm extension onto the actual host itself then it stores an agent on the host and then that agent is obviously collecting the data every five seconds and then it copies the data onto the storage account uh, every five minutes the default setting it uses that data for analysis and reporting what we can do while we're waiting for that We'll actually go on to one of the storage accounts and then i'll be able to show you what actually sits on that storage account and how it's collecting that data let's do that now for this one we can see if we go to the settings you can see here i've got this storage account near the otest 2 perf 8999 right this is the one that it's using so let's look at that storage account this is the one that's been created for that session host i've just been looking at as you can see it was created this morning i'll go to storage browser blob containers and we can see az dialog results and this is all the stuff which has been collected right blob storage that it's using and this is a zip file it's copying the data from the session host onto the zip file and you can download that as well we'll just download that and have a look at that data so let's just open up that data and see what's in there this is actually a performance insights report so let's open that up we can see all, all the logs and stuff uh, this is the the log file of all the data uh, that's been collected you can do what you want with that data the interesting thing is here if we look at all this data as well so this is all the data which has been collected every minute and this is a json file and then i'll just let me go with this screen here we can basically see here this is all the raw data um, that it's using so you could take this data and import it into whatever you want but that's um, copying that data onto the storage account um, every five minutes you can, you can see here it's collecting all the the, the utilization of all the all the specific um, features as well you can see here this access tier is hot if i wanted to i could change that access tier right um and make it even cheaper to me the the, the possibilities of this are, are unlimited because it's a cool way 
uh, of checking data and continually monitoring the performance of your session hosts. So let's go and have a look at some of the other stuff as well. So we've got Bob containers, tables. We've also got the data in the table as well. If you go into here, it's held in some of that. And also all the recommendations that it's making, it's getting these from a table. My brain's thinking is okay, I can access this data somehow and give the information within the radio console, for example, All right? We can go into look at these. For example, it basically tells us the recommendation, the rule, cac the category, that kind of thing. So cool. Just gives you so much information that you don't have to use log analytics for that. Let's go back and see what our session host is doing. This is the one we just enabled to turn if I go down to the uh, performance diagnostics I'm getting this element I got this on my, on my VM this morning I had to point it to a storage account I'm trying that now if you go to settings and uh, change storage account let's see if we can use that existing one yeah so let's use that same one that we had for the other host as well so I'm going to click on OK we select that Store account to change, you need to run new diagnostics. So we're continuing running on demand diagnostics, disable and enable that again. While we're waiting for the data to come through for the other one that we just deployed, let's have a quick look and just see some of this data and some of the things which I think is really cool. So obviously here it's told us that there's high on the storage um, and then it's giving you reference links. So you can go and see, right, okay, as you was telling us to use as you um, and then it's telling us like about all the different performance tiers. Um, but what's really cool as well is just had a look at this one around CPU usage. It's identified these hosts or tasks using ICP usage. And then we've got some reference links there, which tell us basically how to troubleshoot ICPU issues on Windows virtual machines. High CPU usage troubleshoot guidance. And then CPU analysis using Windows Performance Analyzer. So yeah, so it's giving you some really nice links to see what could be the actual be the cause of these issues kind of things. Really impressed with that as well. And then if we just go to again, it's detected that msmpeng.exe is using kind of high CPU usage, and again, it's trouble. It's it taking us to some links around troubleshooting performance issues related to real time protection. Performance Analyzer for Microsoft Defender for Antivirus is bang on with the links. We can go down there and look at Windows Defender Performance Analyzer. I've never seen this before, so this is, this is quite cool. Um, definitely worth looking into because then you can dig and see what's really happening on my session host. Let's go back to the other session host and see if we've got any data in there. So I'm going to go back to 3E1 then inside of F1 and then we go back to performance diagnostics. Okay, cool. All right, so this is the one that we just enabled it on. So again, it's telling us we've got uh, some high IOPS in there, which is interesting, probably because we're using standard HDD account. But again, it's showing us the top CPU usage are so set up the XE. So obviously some things updating on that session host and it's detecting that as well. We've got a defender for endpoint scanning. Maybe that's a separate video on its own, how to and um, defender for endpoint scans. We've got something there as well about an agent which is taking up high CPU usage. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thoughts. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. For from a EUC perspective, this tool is gonna be gold because we can identify what high process is running, like what's using up all the memory. So the fact that we can do that within the Azure console is amazing the fact that we can do that without having to use log analytics is amazing and um, because that could cost a lot of money these architectural decisions that you have to make around where does log analytics workspace sit private endpoints all that stuff and the fact that i just need a storage account now is as long as the host has got access to storage account and we should be good to go i'm also impressed the fact that that all that data is held within the blob storage in files as well I guess there's no reason why you can write some Azure functions or whatever to basically extract that data and put it into your monitoring system within the Nidio console or some things. That's also really useful as well. So yeah, this is only recently released, so obviously it will get better. But yeah, I'm impressed. I'm sold. I think this is going to be something which I'll use often with my customers where they say, hey, okay, I've got a slow session on the session host. We don't know what's causing it. Just enable this and we can go back and look at that information historically as well. That's it for me. It's a great feature. So take a look at it. I'll put the links to the Microsoft documentation in the description. Yeah.
that's it from me if this is the type of content that you like please let the like and subscribe button and i'll see you for next week's video which my brain's ticking now and maybe we'll do defender vent point performance troubleshooting um, because that seems to be a common topic which i hit amongst my customers thanks see you then. bye <laughs>